everyone! Today I'm going to do a video on how I made my cinnamon and pine needle lotion bars. So um, I did skip the beginning where I melted all of the body oils and my oils together. So you're just going to see a compile of me melting the beeswax with the already melted oils. I also wanted to talk a bit about the lotion bar in general. So these are not your typical lotions that you are um, used to because those are made mainly with water. So um, a solid lotion bar is made mostly with oils. Okay, so it's like a solid form. It's not anything liquid. And please keep in mind that there is wax in it. So there will be a wax feeling left on your skin. And since I do live in Hawaii, I did formulate my, my lotion bars to um, not melt in hot weather. So if you do live in an area where it's like winter or you know it's cold all the time and snowy, then I'm not quite sure like how easy it would be to melt, but it should still be able to melt against your um, body temperature. Um, I will list the ingredients down below. If you did find this video helpful or if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them down below. Hi everyone. So the beginning did get cut off. So I did melt all of my body butters and my oils together. And now I am just melting my beeswax. Throughout the video, you'll notice that I do collect samples with my syringe and I will put it on top of a plate and wait for it to solidify. The reason being, it's because I want to check out the texture and make sure that it's hard enough for my lotion bars. So that is the reason why you keep seeing me adding more and more beeswax to my recipe. inside of my silicone mold. In case you were wondering, I am just trying to pop all of the bubbles that's forming at the surface while I'm pouring the recipe in. the designs but I still wanted to display what the designs were on the molds. 